Hello, I'm Father Martin and welcome to another one of my reflections. These are taking place during the coronavirus outbreak. So before we begin, if we just spend a few moments in prayer, praying for each other and the whole world. Our reading comes from the first reading of today's Mass and it's from the first book of the Kings. In the presence of the whole assembly of Israel, Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord and stretching out his hands towards heaven said, O Lord, God of Israel, not in heaven above, nor on earth beneath, is there such a God as you, true to your covenant and your kindness towards your servants, when they walk wholeheartedly in your way. Yet, Will God really live with men on the earth? Why, the heavens and their own heavens cannot contain you. How much less this house that I have built. Listen to the prayer and entreaty of your servant, O Lord my God. Listen to the cry and to the prayer your servant makes to you today. Day and night, let your eyes watch over this house, over this place of which you have said, My name shall be there. Listen to the prayer that your servant will offer in this place. Hear the entreaty of your servant and of Israel, your people, as they pray in this place. From heaven where your dwelling is, hear. And as you hear, forgive. Today in our diocese, we celebrate the feast of the dedication of our cathedral. Quite a few years ago, it was closed for some time for reordering. Recently, our own churches have been closed because of lockdown and one because of work being done there. I remember that when I trained to be a priest, our college chapel was also closed for reordering. And we had to celebrate Mass and the other liturgies in the lecture hall. But then the work was finally completed and one Saturday night, we were able to celebrate Sunday evening prayer one. It was an amazing experience, especially when the lights were turned on, so the newly restored gold leaf and all the decoration in the chapel could be seen in its glory. In the reading we've just heard, Solomon is praying in the magnificent temple he had built for the Lord. 
But it's as if, having built this magnificent temple, he comes to the realisation that obviously God cannot be contained in it because God is God. And God being God is everywhere. And yet, God chooses to be contained in a sense. In our churches, he's present in the Blessed Sacrament. But he's present too in us, as we are temples of the Holy Spirit. And when we reflect on that, it can be quite overwhelming that despite our own unworthiness, God still chooses to dwell within us. And the more we allow God's power to work within us, the more our lives will be transformed and who we are and what we do will be more beautiful than any church or temple. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.